Hello guys, Janos here and today in this video of Excess Heroes, let's do the Holy Dragon Grants on this day of Saturday and this is the team that I have chosen in order to fight that immortal Bone Dragon. The first is gonna be the Fate Code Rodley to provide immense defense and HP boost to all the alloys out there. That's gonna be really good out there. Next is gonna be the Fate Code Talia to provide a lot of heals to my teammates. This is going to be the Fate Crush Mate to provide a lot of damage against that dragon and also at the same time to provide a lot of extra turn to my teammates thanks to the Prey and the uh, Master Footstep synergy effects. And next is going to be the Fate Core Deva in order to deal a lot of damage against that dragon out there. If she managed to deal that critical damage, it will be doubled. Next is going to be the Fate Core Lapin in order to heal as well as to revive all the dead alloys. Next is going to be the Fate Core Bathory, who is uh, going to provide the Tranquil Mark effect to all the allies out there. Provides uh, protection from the death and uh, she can also deal some really good damage out there as well. Next is going to be the Fate Core Magi, as she is the Dragon Knight Hunter or let's say the Head Dragon Knight, as well as having the Dragon Knight Blessing. This is definitely going to be a really great asset in the fight against the Dragon out there in minimizing the damage incoming from the Dragon. Also to amplify the damage against the Dragon. Next is going to be the... Fate Core Ulum to, uh, you know, like shield the damage incoming from the dragon. Also, at the same time, she can deal some really good damage as well. Next is gonna be the Fate Core Anastasia to provide a lot of heal to the teammates. Yes, she can actually heal a lot, and that is gonna be really, really helpful. And finally, we have the Fate Core Adams in order to deal some single target nuking damages. So, let's see how far I can go with this team. All right, so I'm gonna start it and let's enjoy the show. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the show, guys, all right? All right, this immortal dragon, he is really, really irritating, especially when you have uh, crossed that line of 314,000 damage because he keeps on stunning and so on and on. And there are so many other stuff that, guys, that just ah, makes him pretty insane and pretty hard to kill as well. So anyways, my team is going really good. I'm just waiting for my Fate Core Rodley to use his second active skill. That is definitely going to provide a lot of uh, you know like health and the defense boost to all my allies and that's gonna be really helpful indeed for the uh, team sustenance okay, there we go guys that's the damage boom there we go oh my god the dragon is actually you know like uh, reducing a lot of incoming damages okay there we go oh shit that Rodley even though he has a lot of mana why did he use the first active skill I just don't get it like why Anyways, I have Fate Core Lapping just in case if somebody dies. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. All right, so there we go. That's that's what it is. And it also provides some really good heal. There we go. Boom. That's what I really wanted. That's awesome. All right, so let's keep on going on. Let's keep on moving ahead. All right. We need some heal from Fate Core Anastasia or may it be the Fate Core Lapping. All right. Uh, there we go. Fate Core Magi with some really good damage. That's good. He's going to take the Dragon Breath. Uh, it could uh, actually stun my alloys out there, especially if it's in phase 4. Seems like my Rudley is gonna bite the dust. Oh, wow, he actually survived. All right. Uh, if we have like Dragon Hunter, like let's say Fed Magi with the Dragon Knight Blessing and so on and on, uh, we will be taking very reduced damage from the Dragon Breath and it's gonna be a really great help, guys, for the sustenance. All right. So there we go, the stun. I think he's already in the phase four. Wow, he actually stunned me. <laughs> so fast, so fast, guys, so fast. The stun is a really great, you know, like uh, inconvenience for us, guys. Anyways, let's keep on moving on. All right, there we go. Come on, Schmidt, deal some really good damage. Wow, that's a lot of number out there. 548,189 damage already, guys. We are actually making some point out here, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of damage and we are taking not that much of damage from the dragon itself. So I'm pretty happy so far. So far, so good. <laughs> not much of compliments, guys. I'm pretty much proud of my team. All right, so there we go. 633,000 damage, 640,000 damage. Magi, come on. As long as she leaves, the dragon will be dealing reduced damage and will be taking uh, increased damage, all right? So there we go, 668,000 damage. Oh my god, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit, just one attack and uh, my whole team just bite the dust. Oh my god, 668,000 damage. So that's what I was actually capable of dealing. I think we could actually get, go even further, but man, all right. Wow, that's a lot of Relic of Dragon Dynasty, isn't it? 2200. 
A Relic of Dragon Dynasty. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that one. Anyways, the bonus feature is also going on around. You might actually want to take advantage of that one as well. Wow, just let's look into the show record right over here. There are some other units out there that has been actually able to deal even more damage out there. Like, I mean, like, they went even farther. Wow, what kind of team composition might they might have actually used? So, I'm pretty, like, uh, okay, okay, whatever that is. Anyways, I'm really happy I managed to deal 668,000 damage against that immortal stupid dragon, alright? So this team really does work. I'm pretty happy with this team, guys. Uh, even though it's Saturday today where the dragon does not have any kind of weakness out there because, like, he does not have any kind of the garden stone so we cannot just break that dragon we have to go on brutal strength with against him and in this day i actually managed to deal some really good damage against that dragon so i'm pretty proud of it so this formation is definitely going to help you guys not only on saturday but also on sunday okay saturday and sunday the same stuff uh, happens out there and starting from the monday that's when you are supposed to start with the uh, light and dark, yes, the light and dark, and then after that fire, and then frost, and then nature, and then machine, and then finally, it's back to the weekend's day again. So that's gonna be it, guys. What do you guys think about this video? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you have any further, in, or let's say, better, amazing team composition out there? Let me know in the comment section below. Which particular hero units should I be actually including in the list out here? Uh, next time, I'm actually trying to put uh, this Fedecore Morris into my team composition because his uh, attack boost is gonna definitely be very very helpful out there you know to deal extra damage against that dragon and to attain that 668,000 as soon as possible alright so that's gonna be it guys see you guys in the next video